Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala sayyidina السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه يجمعين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد تب القلوب ودوائها وعافية الأبدان وشفائها ونور الأبصار وضيائها وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم اللهم يا وهاب صل على سيدنا محمد فاتح الأبواب وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم All praise is to Allah سبحانه وتعالى our Creator, our Sustainer, and the greatest of salutations be upon the Beloved of Allah. Sayyidina wa Mawlana Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Upon his family, upon his companions, and upon our pious predecessors, Amin. Alhamdulillah, it is by the grace, the mercy, and the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he Jalla wa ala, has given us this opportunity of presenting ourselves in this masjid for Salatul Jumu'ah by granting us life. We ask Allah for forgiveness. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to shower upon us his divine mercy. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to rise us alongside Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam on the day of resurrection. Ameen, Ya Rabbana, Ya Rabbal Alameen. <coughs> Alhamdulillah, this is the month in which we celebrate Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And Alhamdulillah, three quarter of the ummah of the Habib sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam uh, celebrated his birth uh, on the uh, Wednesday and Tuesday and so forth, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept it from us and to make us sincere uh, followers of our Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. With regards to Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, history testifies, history testifies to his greatness. History testifies that there is no greater human being. There is no perfect human being. The world today, with all of us present, so many, so many great leaders and so forth, and to come right up to the day of resurrection, the world will not see a greater man, a more perfect man than Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. A man whose influence is felt up to today. A man whose influence is felt up to today and wallahi will continue to influence and will continue to change the hearts of men until the day of resurrection. No other man. That is why John William Draper, John 
William Draper, he said, four years after the death of Justinian, huh, in Mecca, Arabia, the man who of all men was born, who has exercised the greatest influence upon the human race. Not a Muslim. Not a Muslim. The greatest influence upon the human race. This is Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This is your prophet. This is your prophet. This is, as they say in the Arabic language, Kudwatina, our leader. Our leader. Our Imam. This is Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. If you go and read the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, the seerah of the Messenger of Allah is a blueprint for every single believer. If you want to know how to reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you want to know the path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want to know how to uh, refine your character as an individual, if you want to know how to rectify a society, a community at a global level, then wallahi, all you have to do is study the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and you will find your solution. The seerah, Ibn Hazm, Ibn Hazm, said this about the biography, the seerah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for anyone who considers it, it necessitates believing in him and testifying that he is the messenger of Allah. And then he said, if he had no other miracle, no other miracle, but his seerah, but his biography, his biography is sufficient to serve as his miracle. Sufficient to serve as the miracle of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. From cover to cover, from the time of his great and illustrious birth till the time that the messenger of Allah physically passed away from the dunya and even after up to today, the seerah of the Habib continues. The seerah of the Habib continues and from cover to cover when you read you are mesmerized. You are in awe of this personality that is in front of you in your imagination that you are reading about. Is this an angel? Is this an angel? Is this a creation from the creation of Allah but not a human creation? And then we are further amazed when we realize that this is a human being. This is a human being from the creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But such perfection, such beauty, it humbles us. It makes us stand in awe of this personality. Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The dunya, the dunya, the, the, the Lamatine, the French historian, he put it very beautifully with regards to Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. He says, if greatness of purpose, if greatness of purpose, smallness of means, nothing, you know, having nothing, astounding results are the three criteria of human genius. Who could dare to compare any great man in modern history with Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam? And then he explains the life of Muhammad. He says, the most famous men created arms, laws, and empires only. They founded, if anything at all, no more than material powers, which often crumbles away before their very own eyes. Who remembers these uh, great emperors of the past? Uh, Constantine and so forth and all these people. Who remembers them today? The world has forgotten them. But a few who remember them. But a few who remember them. Uh, this man moved not only armies, talking about Muhammad, legislations, empires, 
peoples and dynasties, but billions of men in one third of the then inhabited world, million, sorry, and more than that, he moved the altars, he moved gods, religions, ideas, beliefs, and souls. And then he goes on and he speaks about Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. His life, his meditations, he stands against the superstitions of his country. Huh? His firmness in enduring them for over 13 years, that torture in Makkah to Mukarramah. And then he says, as regards all the standards by which human greatness may be measured. If you have to look at all the standards that we measure greatness today, or history has measured greatness, he says, as regards all the standards by which human greatness may be measured, we ask ourselves a question, is there any man greater than he? No. This is your prophet. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This is our Nabi. This is our Rasul, this is our Qudwa, our leader, this is our Imam. Sayyidina wa Mawlana Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. He not only affected the hearts of believers, no, no. He affected the hearts of disbelievers, that even though they chose to disbelieve in the message that he brought, they never disbelieved that his character was exemplary. Gandhi, huh? Nelson Mandela, go, 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 read, read. These people did not accept Islam. They never accepted Islam, but they testified to the character of a man in whose religion they did not believe in. What does that tell you about the man? What does that tell you about his character? The life of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. It's not strange that we see today, brothers in Islam, has anyone in human history, in human history, ever been so deeply loved as him? No. But why? Why so much of love? Why so much of love? Is it a love that is forced upon the hearts? No. No. It's a love of beauty. It's a love of perfection. It's a love of good character. So we are drawn like moths to a flame. We are drawn to Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. What made the, the Sahaba? What made the Sahaba who were alive at that time, you know, around the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what made them sacrifice their very lives for him? What made men, men, sacrifice their very lives to defend another man? Must be something. There must be something that Abu Dujana. Huh? Rahmatullahi ta'ala ali radiyallahu ta'ala who welcomed an entire volley of arrows, you know, landing upon his back as he hovered around the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at Uhud to protect him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What about Sayyidina uh, Anas ibn Nadr radiyallahu ta'ala who actually dove, he dived into the crowds in battle into the crowds in protection of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that when they found his martyred body there were over 90 wounds upon the body of a single person that defended another man why? such love such love huh, that Abu Talha shielded the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from injury with his chest because he never found a shield or a sword. So he went out with his chest and he says, Ya Rasulullah, do not look there, O Messenger of Allah. Perhaps they may, you know, strike your neck or your head. Rather, they strike me first. Ya Rasulullah, sallallahu ta'ala, alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Talha ibn Ubaidillah, radiyallahu ta'ala, who in the battle of Badr, uh, Uhud, 
When Abu Bakr as Siddiq speaking about this battle years later, he said, For that day, Uhud belonged to Talha. Why? Defending, defending the Messenger sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam to the point that over 70 wounds upon his body that even his right hand became paralyzed. One of those given the glad tidings of Jannah. What makes men, what makes men sacrifice themselves for another man? And none of them, none of them uh, was forced. None were forced. What makes uh, Nusayba bin Kaab, uh, a woman, woman who snatched swords away from the hands of men who were running from the battlefield in Uhud to go and defend the messenger sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. What makes a woman from the uh, Banu Dinar tribe who was told after the battle when they returned to Medina that your husband, your father, your brother, they were all killed at Uhud. And she replied, but what has happened to the messenger of Allah? They are telling her, your father, your brother, huh? your son, your husband, all killed. Leave them. What has happened to the messenger of Allah? Ya ukhti. Oh sister, we are telling you, listen properly. Your father, your brother, your husband, your son has been martyred. Leave them. What about the messenger of Allah? Is he safe? What motivated her love? What motivated her love? That she remained oblivious. To the death of her father, of her brother, of her husband, of her son. Oblivious. But what happened to the messenger of Allah? Is he safe? And then they said, O oh, Ukhti, O oh, sister, your, uh, the messenger of Allah is fine. No, where is he? I want to see him with my own eyes. And then they take her. To the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, what does she say? Every tragedy, every tragedy is insignificant, ya Rasul Allah. Besides losing you, every tragedy besides losing you is insignificant. <laughs> we don't care. What motivates this love, huh? For the messenger sallallahu taala alaihi wa alihi wasallam. That people give up their lives, their lives, huh? with regards to how the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you know, uh, loved him. It is said that a few years after Uhud, Urwa ibn Mas'ud came as an envoy uh, from the Quraysh to speak to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he spent about three days amongst the Muslimin in their midst, and he returned to Makkah, and the Quraysh asked him, "Brief us." with regards to what you observed, uh, with regards to Muhammad and his companions. He says, O oh, council of the Quraysh, I have visited Khusru in his kingdom. I have vis visited Caesar in his king kingdom. I have visited the uh, Najashi in his kingdom. But by Allah, I have never seen a king so revered amongst his people, like how the people of Muhammad revere Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. He does not wash himself, meaning wudu, except that they rush to catch the droplets of water falling from his body. Nor does one of his hairs fall, except that they take it. Whenever he speaks, they immediately lower their voices. None stares at him directly out of reverence for him. No senior companion, with regards to the Shamai, no senior companion of Muhammad, like Abu Bakr or Umar, uh, Uthman, ever gave the description of the Messenger of Allah. Because none of them, you know, out of all of him, none of them looked at his face. It was always the younger companions who were brave, you know, enough to lift up their head in the, in the, in the, in the presence of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whenever he speaks, they lower their voices. None stares at him directly out of reverence for him. He has offered you good terms. Accept them. For I do not see them ever deserting him. Make your decision. 
This type of love. Even decades, decades after the passing away of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the deathbed of Amr ibn al-As radiallahu ta'ala and before he can depart from the dunya, Amr ibn al-As is talking and longing uh, for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, at that time, uh, before I accepted Islam, there was no one, no one more hated to me than him but when i accepted islam and when iman settled in my heart now there was no one more dearer to me than him none more exalted in my eyes than him i could not even stare at him directly so don't ask me to describe him uh, what made bilal 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 radiallahu ta'ala you look at that plus minus years after the passing away of rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam uh, bilal is on his uh, deathbed and death is about to knock at the door of bilal radiallahu ta'ala and bilal sees his wife cry and he tells her why are you crying and she replies that no you know from this illness you are going to give your life your life is going to come out. He says, but for me it is happiness. For me it is joy. Because tomorrow when I close my eyes to the dunya, I am going to meet Muhammad and his companions in the afterlife. Huh? What was it about this man? So much of love that 1400 years later, we can stand insults to everyone but the messenger. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. You know, as they say, you can insult this one, insult our parents, insult our children, insult our families, insult us for that matter. Illa Rasulillah, except the messenger of Allah. If you ever, ever want to see the people, the Muslimin rally, rally, is when? When you insult Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then we take to the streets, we burn down buildings in our love for who? For Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But why? Why? Why so much of love? Because although we come a 1400 years later, the beauty of his character is still shining today. This is what motivated the Sahaba. This is what increased in the hearts of the Sahaba love for Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. It was the character of Muhammad. We, as the Ummah of the Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, year in, year out, year in, year out, weekends come, weekends go, we go to the uh, Mawlid gatherings, all fair, alhamdulillah, Allah bless you, Allah accept it from us. But Muhammad is not to be remembered for a day. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not to be remembered for a single uh, function, majlis. No, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam must be remembered every day. The life of Muhammad must be lived by you. By you following the character of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Cover to cover the seerah of the Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his greatest miracle. The greatest miracle. To the point, to the point that when his Jewish a neighbor, the, the, the son of, the, of his neighbor, was on his deathbed. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went there, went, and he told that young boy, accept Islam. That boy looks at the face of his father. What does his father say? A Jew, obey Abu Qasim. Obey the father of Qasim, meaning Rasulullah. And that boy accepted Islam, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was happy. Because now when he dies, he enters into Jannah by virtue of La ilaha illallah. But the point is, a Jew tells his son, obey Abu Qasim. Why? Because he knew the character of Abu Qasim. He knew the character of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Today we live in the dunya, brothers in Islam. We do not see, we do not see the character of Muhammad within the Muslim community anymore. But, but by a few people. 
Learn the seerah of the Habib. You want to see, learn about mercy, you learn it from him. You want to learn about compassion, you learn it from him. You want to learn about kindness, you learn it from him. You want to learn about generosity, you learn it from him. You want to learn about taqwa, you learn it from him. You want to learn about sacrifice, you learn it from him. You want to learn how to be a good husband, you learn it from him. You want to learn how to be a good father, you learn it from him. You want to learn how to be a good teacher, you learn it from him you want to learn how to be a good military leader you learn it from him you want to learn how to be a scholar you learn it from him whatever field you want to learn about you learn it from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam why laqad kana lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasana indeed in the apostle of Allah Allah is telling you in this verse after surveying the entirety of creation from the time of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam until the day of resurrection which is by the knowledge of Allah Allah is telling us laqad kana lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasana that indeed in the apostle of Allah you have the best of examples from Adam right down to the day of resurrection there is no greater perfection of human character than muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam learn learn the life of rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam learn the life of the man whose name has become the number one name in the entirety of the dunya in the uk alone the name most given to babies is the name of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam whether people like him whether people don't like him whether people love him or whether they hate him whether people uh, you know understand his teachings or they do not understand his teachings but the zikr of Muhammad does not cease upon the face of the dunya the zikr of Muhammad does not seize upon the face of the dunya. This is not ibadah what we are doing. This is not worship that we are worshipping a personality. No, no. No, no. This is forming an attachment with the one who brought the message. This is forming an attachment to a personality that if we form an attachment to, we will be on the path to Allah. This is not ibadah. This is mahabba. This is love. And what does love like this do to a person? It changes a person. It makes the person want to emulate the one that he loves. This is not ibadah. Wallahi, I do not worship Muhammad. I have never worshipped Muhammad. I have worshipped the Rabb of Muhammad. The Lord of Muhammad, the creator of Muhammad, I have never worshipped Muhammad. And as I said before, and I will say it again, know this, that after Allah, there is no one but Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Connect yourselves to the Habib of Allah. Connect yourselves to the seerah of the Habib of Allah. And Wallah, see the effects on your life. We ask Allah for guidance. We ask Allah for forgiveness. Wa salli Allahumma ala nabiyyina wa habibina wa kurrati a'yunina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Walhamdulillah, 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 ya rabbil alameen. Alhamdulillah, so Mufti Muhammad Ibrahim Sufi, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him Amen. and reward him abundantly. Today's Juma is dedicated to the memory of Hazrat Faja Fajigan, Faja Alauddin Ali Ahmad Sabir Karari, Rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, whose wisal is today the 13th of Rabiul Awal. Today, on behalf of the Habibia Sufi Sahib Bacha Darbar, Riverside, Durban, Kenville, we wish all the Muridin of the Sabri Silsila a Urus Mubarak. Alhamdulillah, today's lunch is sponsored by an anonymous donor for the Isale Sawab of his family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant his family and all marhum in the highest abode in Jannah and eliminate the kubur with nur and grant the family barakah and iman. Salamat. Ameen. The Ashikali Ta'ala Alayhi invites one and all to the Urush Sharif Hazrat Pashapir Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi. This will take place tomorrow, Saturday, the 30th of September 2023, commencing at. Uh, after at 2.30 p.m. at the Bazaar Sharif of 
and then on Sunday, the 1st of October, 2023, at the Havenside Community Hall, Unit 1, Chatsworth, at 10.30 a.m. The HSBP Darbar Riverside Durban Kenville, the HSBP Hibs Academy, invites one and all to a Kira program, Kari Sheikh Muhammad Ahmed Abdul Hafiz Al Drunki of Egypt, taking place on the 28th of October after Salat al Maghrib. Kindly see notice board for further details. The HSBP Fun Fair, inshallah, will take place tomorrow, commencing at 10 a.m. at the HSBP Hall in Kenville, 131 Kenville Road. Entrance is free. Please join us for a lot of fun, inshallah. Dua'i Shifa is requested for Shokar Ali Sheikh Hamid, Farooq of Fixburg, Kulsub of Pakistan, and Arshad Akhtar Sheikh. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him a full and complete Shifa. Dua'i Makhfira is requested for Fatima Laki, Inayat Petka, Farooq Bay of Kenville, and Hazrat Sayyid Mahmoud Ali Saveri, the father in law of Shakil Bawa. Brothers in Islam, we do apologize for the inconvenience caused to the renovations in and around the Masjid and the Darbar. Inshallah, the Wuzu Khana downstairs is nearing completion, and thereafter, the Wuzu Khana upstairs renovations will commence. We are experiencing a water issue currently. We do apologize profusely for the inconvenience. Brothers, uh, please, humbly, please, once again, I want to say please again, to please park your cars correctly. We are currently experiencing huge problems with cars blocking the driveway, uh, our neighbors, as well as the hotel. So please, there's a humble appeal to please park your cars accordingly. Currently, there is a blue BMW. is blocking our main driveway and parked halfway onto the road and is blocking the oncoming traffic. We humbly appeal to please remove your vehicle. Jazakallah khair al jazak. It's from the character of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we observe the rights of others. That we observe the rights of others. It's no use coming to the masjid to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, making your sufuf here in the masjid, and you can't make order outside there in the earth. Follow Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, park properly, uh, be uh, kind to others, strangers, follow his character, follow his sunnah, inshallah, and you will see the world will be a better place. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله دعوة التام والصلاة القائمة محمد الوصيلة والفضيلة الدرجة العالية الرفيعة وبعث الله مقام محمودا الذي وحد وسنة شرعته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا عباد الله اتقوا الله يقول الله تعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما عباد الله قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اني اسالك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى كما قال الحبيب المصطفى بارك الله بارك الله لنا ولكم في القران العظيم ونفعنا واياكم بالايات والذكر الحكيم فاستغفروا انه هو الغفور الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه يجمعين عباد الله اتقوا الله يقول الله تعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا أتيعوا الله وأتيعوا الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم ويقول الله سبحانه وتعالى 
في شان حبيبه المبارك إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما لبيك اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد ورد اللهم عن ساداتنا أبي بكر وعمر وأثمان وعلي رضوان الله تعالى عليه مجمعين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر عداك عداء الدين اللهم انصر المسلمين في فلسطين على اليهود الغاسبين اللهم انصر المسلمين في كل مكان يا مولانا يا ارحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا عذاب النار اللهم ارزقنا شفاعة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في يوم القيامة وارزقني السكن في بلد حبيبك والدفن في البقية مولاي يا أرحم الراحمين عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفخشاء والمنكر والبغي يعيذكم لعلكم تذكرون سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين أقيموا الصفوف